Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hello Day. We're gonna start with some April Fool stuff. I should just say that I'm actually recording this on Saturday rather than Sunday, where I would usually record, making it a little bit more difficult as Saturday, well today, where I'm recording this is April 1st. <laughs> so, there's been a lot of news posted, a lot of uh, April Fools. There may be, there's one that I'm actually not sure whether it's an April Fools or not. If So I'm leaving it out this week, we're gonna talk about that next week. Um, but there's been a few posted. Um, Notice Frontiers did one uh, that I found was a little weird. Uh, they posted this thing on, on Twitter with like a... There was some kind of massive, massive cathedral-shaped ship that was suddenly spotted in the Sol system. Something, something about the Federation being heresy. It seemed like a 40k reference, and I'm not sure I got it. <laughs> if there's someone out there where there's a little bit more um, 40k savvy, savvy? Then, then, like, please enlighten me. But I feel like it was some kind of reference in that direction with, like, cathedral ships and the Harold Harris thing is also, like, a, the 4K, a 40K universe, so, so not really sure. I also pulled my own April Fools this year. You usually don't do that, but I decided to do one this year. The reason why I don't really do this was because I think about it, like, two days before, and at that point it's too late to, to make something, like, good. But this year... I started like months in advance, and uh, if you haven't seen the two videos I posted this week, first I posted the actual April Fool's video on uh, on Saturday about the whole uh, Star Citizenships are coming to really dangerous. Um, I did get a few of you out there, uh, majority of you got it, but there was a few of you that I managed to uh, to fool with it. And on Sunday I of course posted the behind the scenes video where I showed how I took a ship from Star Citizen and put it in on the landing pad in Elite Dangerous. At least so it looked like it was on the land, apparently, it wasn't actually imported into the game. But anyway, I love your comments on that video, by the way. It was really, really fun to read. Especially those, there was quite a few of them. Especially those comments where people were just like, super, super certain in themselves. Like, yeah, yeah, I spotted it, it was an April Fool's. This is just someone who like, took the model out of Star Citizen and then modded the game and put it in and, and blah, blah. We're really confident that they figured out how I did it. I think at the time of this recording, I've only seen one that actually posted and said, I guessed how I managed to uh, to put the ship into uh, to Elite Dangerous. And I should say that I'm posting, uh, recording this video before the behind the scenes video is, is, is published. Um, so at this point, I haven't actually released the information about how I did it. That was fun. I, I had a ton of fun with it and it was a fun little like side project to uh, to work on. But let's move over to some of the actual news. Um, Star Citizen, there's a lot of stuff going on over there. They had a uh, sprint report in the last Inside Star Citizen where they talked a lot about the stuff going on in the different teams. There was a lot of stuff, and I'm just going to dive into some of the few things that I found to be the most interesting. Um, some of the work with the AI behavior for small animals was actually quite cool to, uh, to see. So they're working on AIs and how to make them behave like a bird or a fish. Those are the kind of things they're working on right now. I don't think we're going to begin to see um, like four-legged mammals begin to, to walk around. It's going to be animals that's a little bit more out of our reach, like a bird in the air or a, a, a fish in the sea. Um, is that something we're going to run into? Interesting thing is, one thing is getting the AI to work. What happens if you fly into them with a spaceship? What happens if you shoot them with a gun? Because players are going to do that. Are they just going to be invulnerable and basically have no collision mesh and just be there for the cinematics and the, for, for the scenery and the immersion? Knowing CIG... Likely, like, um, small bird or small animal iteration zero will probably just be no collision mesh and just make them move around to add atmosphere. And then probably later on, they're going to keep iterating on it. And at some point, they're going to be ridiculously over-engineered and, and probably be, be a little bit more realistic than it probably needed to. But that's why we love Star Citizen, isn't it? Another thing that they're working on is the whole bounty hunting from the lawful player's perspective and PvP from a lawful player's perspective. I've talked about this for a few weeks now in, in Hello Dave where I've talked about the way CIG is approaching um, PvP and while PvP is not something that I usually engage much with, it's not something I usually care much about, I really like the way that CIG is going about this because they are trying to make PvP not just a a, a, a criminal act, because that's the way it's implemented in most games. If you want to do PvP, it often means you go out as a pirate and you hunt other players. CIG is trying to take it one step further, also allowing lawful players to actually have some gameplay and some, gameplay, uh, some game mechanics they can work with, 
And also, of course, the whole thing that we talked about the last couple of weeks, where they're trying to draw PvP into certain areas so that the PvPers will naturally meet others that are interested in PvPing, rather than it just being like random gangs of people who are in, in non-combat ship just going about their industry business or whatever. They're trying to like draw them in so that if you actually want to go and do real PvP, fight against other players who are equipped for the task and are skilled in the task, then you can go to those fixed areas. And if you're maybe not so good at PvP and you just want to gank some random people, then you can go and do that instead. But <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked here. What they're adding is these like bounty hunting, um, like almost police stations, where you can get like cryopods or anything like that. So if you go out and you kill another player with a bounty on his head, um, you can take that body, tractor beam them into one of these those cryopods or containers or whatever, transport those back to one of the stations and you slot them in and then you get your bounty. So you actually need to bring the corpse back to, um, to the authorities. They can see, I killed a guy, he had a bounty, now give me my money. I kind of like that idea also because that all of a sudden you become a transport ship when you're ferrying these um, bodies back to the police station, making you a potential target for other PvPers who want to take that away and then take the bodies and claim the bounty instead of you. It, it's I really like that game mechanic. It's kind of fun and it's a new and different approach to PvP that we haven't seen for, before, um, which is why I want to talk about it here because I, I think it's new, it's different, and not something I've seen before. Okay, quick little note on update 3.18.1 currently on the PTU. It seems that 3.18.1 is not going to come to the live servers ever. Because what's happening now is that CIG now has a second PTU called the Experimental PTU. So just to get this, just to, so we have the, we have the alpha test server. We have the, 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 the persistent universe servers. This is where we test the alpha version of Star Citizen. For that is there's a test server for the alpha test. And now there's an experimental version for the test, the test. We are three, th three levels deep in, in tests here. Experimental PTU server, where they're testing 3.18.2. And it looks like what's going to happen is that 3.18.1 and 3.18.2 is going to be collapsed and then they're all going to be released as part of 3.18.2 onto live server when they're both ready. At the time of this recording, my channel is currently sitting at 99,863 subscribers. And as I said, I'm recording this on Saturday evening. That means there is a chance that when this video goes live, that I may already have passed the 100 subscriber mark. If not, I am going to be like a very, very small number of subscribers away. It is there. It's almost there. I can almost feel it now. I have been very busy and I've done a lot of planning. My plan is to celebrate this massive milestone. Is There's going to be a two-week celebration period starting on Monday the 10th of April. That is Monday next week. And then for the next two weeks, I'm going to be hosting a lot of live streams. There's going to be six live streams over that two week period. And that's going to be a total of, I think I've scheduled so far more than almost 40 hours. I think it's going to be more than 40 hours because I always go over time on my live streams. So more than 40 hours of live streaming happening over those two weeks. So that's going to be a lot of live streams and they're going to be spread out across Elite Dangerous, Star Citizen. Uh, we're going to play some Kerpel. And I also have a 10 hour um, Spaceborne live stream scheduled. You can see the schedule and all the different events also created over on Discord, where you can then, they automatically convert the time zones. So it makes it super easy for you to just go into the event list. You can see when the time, when the live stream starts, but it's not just live streams. Of course, I'm also going to be running a massive giveaway. I have a very long list of stuff that I'm giving away, both digital items, but also physical items, um, some verbal gear, there are some Toby eye trackers, there's some tablets from Game Glass. We have a lot of other things. Uh, I have a video, I actually have two videos now coming out when the channel has passed the 100,000 subscriber mark. Again, I don't know if they may be out already because I don't know if I've passed by the time this video goes live. One of them detailing the plan and the schedule and what the different live streams is going to be about. The other one going through all the different giveaways and the way that you sign up for them. Sign up for the giveaways open on Sunday evening, or probably Monday on the 10th with the event. Probably that is the plan. 
either Sunday evening or Monday with the um, when the event starts. That's when the, the sign up for the giveaway starts and that's when you can go to Discord and sign up over there. Again, I'm gonna detail it all in the video, uh, how you do it and what you do and all that stuff. Otherwise, come by Discord and ask if people can help you. But it doesn't stop there. There's also gonna be some other giveaways during the live stream. So for people who actually show up to the live streams, there's also some stuff you can win there. And this is a long topic. And I'm also launching some um, limited time merchandise. I did that with um, when I hit 10,000 subscribers. Um, you might have seen it sometimes during my live streams. I have this special 10,000 subscriber mark that was only created for that event. And I'm going doing the same thing here with 100,000 subscribers. I'm going to uh, to launch a series of new, there's going to be some t-shirts and some, some uh, there's going to be a mark and some other things in there special for this event. And these items are only going to be available in this two-week period. When this celebration event is over after two weeks, it's going to be taken off the store, never to return again. So this is a very, very limited time that you have your chance to get something to commemorate this um, this whole two-week uh, celebration event, where I really hope I'll see a lot of you guys there. But much more information about that is coming when the event starts on Monday the 10th. And finally, live streams. This is going to be a short topic. There is no live streams this week. <laughs> Bye for now is taking a, a bit of a time off and that means I won't be home this week and therefore I won't be live streaming. Um, videos will be out according to the normal schedule, Wednesday, Saturday. So you'll have your videos as you're used to. There just won't be a live stream tomorrow else I won't actually be home. So that's good for this week. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys in space.